Welcome back everybody, let's play Klonoa Heroes and Setsuno Star Metal. And here we are with our good friend Pongo, because our other quote-unquote friend left us. So what are Pongo's stats like? You can see his hero metal in the corner, which is nice. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got took my freaking accessories. Jerk. So there's some interesting stats. Much higher attack. <laughs> you can... You could have guessed when it came to the defense. And... Agility. Eh, not bad. You can see though, his... Kono is a agility at this point is 100. Whereas Pongo's is only 75. And man, he has a lot of points to spend too, my god. Hmm, what's... What are these called? Oh... I don't know what those are called. Oh well. So I'll just see how Pongo plays in a minute. I uh, need to equip him, with, equip him with some more stuff. What's he need right now, really? His offense is fine. His attack is probably gonna be okay. It's gonna be hard to say without actually playing as him. Let's even get some stuff from the shop, actually, to make things a bit better first. Because Pongo's way ahead of the curve right now. That, those are both up a lot. Does Clone need new clothes? Or anything for that matter? No, not at all right now. It will soon, I guess, but not right now. And we'll need that at some point. Hmm. I guess I want to be bad to try to find that later, but I still like to for my agility. I'll get both of these for Pongo. And now we can accessorize him in accordance with whatever his stats end up being, according to this instead. Just go. I can't read that at all. Okay, whatever. So, 144 to 192. That's a little bit more attack than I have. But as you can probably imagine, just from how he looks, he's slower in his attacks than Klonoa. Nice. He yeah, is a couple of levels ahead of Klonoa. Man, I'm gonna have Klonoa's gonna have to catch up for a while, so I'm not gonna play too much as him. Chances are. Also, Pongo's HP. Man. So he's pretty statistically superior at the moment, which is something I'm fine with, honestly. Anyway, so this is the Mamet House. Hello. This is where you can trade in all those dolls, actually. Now, what I do right now, I don't really like to trade in stuff with Mamet. You know, he gives you some interesting stuff eventually. He gives you everything he gives you except for the first item. First item he gives you is a Bistro Curry. Every other item he gives you is an accessory. And I don't like having all the accessories cluttering this up, even though some accessories, especially the late ones, are actually kind of nice. But, and most of them are just really gimmicky, they're interesting, but not something I need. The very last ones are the actual good ones. Alright, so we're not too concerned about special stat on Pongo. So what are his strengths and weaknesses right now? His defense is good, not that they could be better, I guess. His agility could definitely be better. Let's see if we can focus on agility and defense, actually. So, I only have a plus 7 for those two. Can I find something better? Can I find something better that I could afford, for that matter? These things are dirt cheap. Oh, I spent as well, really. Oh, uh, this prevents you- uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, I think this prevents you from getting... Cursed, yes. Clear amulet, prevents you from getting cursed. Attack plus 14, beautiful. Plus 12. I think this is the last of my money. But, Pongo is going to destroy everything in his path. Now, I haven't really m mentioned much about Pongo just yet, but... I found that he's the character that can actually... Well, he's the character that has most potential for being ridiculously overpowered, I find. Especially if you focus his stats in the right places. He can actually have pretty high agility. Like, you can see right now, he actually... I mean, he has a few points more than Klonoa does in his agility, but he actually is way ahead of... Well, he's not ahead, but he's... About matching Klonoa in terms of agility, which is impressive, considering he's a defense-oriented character. Look at his defense, I mean... It doesn't really matter that 
comparing him to Klingon doesn't say much, but he has a really high defense naturally, as well as incredibly high HP. So what tends to happen is enemies can't hurt him as long as you keep his level sign enough. And even then, sometimes they do hurt him, he tends to dodge a lot if you can keep his agility up. And he actually has really high attack. See, he has 140, where Klonoa has 84, naturally. Which is a bit crazy. So what's the next best thing I have? Increase those two more again, which I'd be fine with, honestly. Increase his agility or defense, specifically. Might as well go all the way into one. For example, all the way into defense. I might do that. To try to make sure nothing can actually hurt him. I There are probably very few things right now that can actually hurt Pongo. Oh crap. There I went here. There you go. Oh, there's... There you go. I was... <laughs> I had incorrectly guessed which cutscene we were currently on. How'd they even get here? How did we get here, for that matter? How'd we get in the sky? Well, we all have a stake in this. Let's get going! Uh, so we can see how Klonoa does. Standard enemies, actually. It also takes damage. A decent amount of damage, too. It's missing! Okay, there you go. It ice either misses, or just clinks off of Pongo. So Pongo throws bombs, and he can roll them around. Some interesting method of gameplay. Oh man, that's nice. Oh my god! He's doing tons of damage right now, also his bombs on uh, Pierce Armor. He can <laughs> Yes, he has so much attack right now that he can actually nearly kill. He can nearly one shot well not one shot, but he can nearly kill these things. Without actually using the correct color on them. Come on, dude. I won't kill it. Whatever. Still one shot it. If you can do damage to something with the wrong color, you can. Man, these things have a ton of health. You can. more than one shot it. Right, that, I'm gonna focus on Klonoa so Klonoa can get caught up with Fongo. And just to show how much weaker Klonoa is in comparison. What did you do? Curse. Check on that glare amulet. There we go. Here we go. This can also have these kind of these ones. Alright, so what about these moves? Well, I guess I have to have a bad time with those moves, actually. Huh. Fair enough. Oh, come on! Oh, uh, God. Oh. Went through it. Back off! Klonoa's already pretty much useless. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, for some reason, I remember that last... I guess I just... I don't know what it was. Last time I went through the game, I was actually the same level as Pongo. Klonoa was the same level as Pongo when Kl Pongo joined. So somehow I'm a few levels behind this time. This isn't gonna work, is it? Yeah. No, not even close. Alright. Do I actually have a particular... No, I don't. Okay. A certain item can help those guys sometimes, but we don't have it yet. Oh! That thing, actually. Um, I don't remember what... I couldn't figure out what this thing's called. It might be... It's not called a mirror fairy, but it seems really... Well, no, it doesn't. It's called something fairy or something like that. I don't quite remember, unfortunately. It's always kind of confusing. You know, kind of eat your eggs. Pongo's invincible right now, which is cool. But Klonoa needs to get stronger. So we're gonna have him do all the hard work. Don't these things grab me? Can they hurt Pongo? Come on! You need to try to hurt Pongo. 
Nope. And a one shot kill. Panka also, by the way, moves very slow. Which you may have noticed by now. Come on, man. I'm trying to get to catch me and then kill you. I kind of wish that the Temple in the Sky did not have blocks, or not quite blocks, but tiles, as it's spaces that you go on to to continue to the next area, because I've had some very frustrating cases where the level design was such that it's easy to accidentally undo a lot of progress by walking on top of the stairs. Oh, that kind of reminds me of Pokemon History Dungeon. Having stairs like that. Not that there are tons of other games that have done the whole stair thing for moving between floors and what is usually a roguelike. Go away. Go. Go, you need to level faster. I mean, if you're three levels behind, you're probably leveling at a decent rate, right? Come on. I just gonna still tearing through everything. I'm actually kind of surprised he's doing so well. Well, it's because I have been putting literally nothing into his defense, though, so he's just kind of min-maxing on your way. As long as I can avoid from getting hit, it doesn't matter. And it's pretty clear that I struggle with losing HP at Klonoa on a regular basis. It's just that if I can avoid getting hit, all is well. Hi, guys. I really could have gone these things in one go. But hey, experience. Not a ton of it. But experience. I think these steps look like they're kind of floating. Oh, that thing, it's a uh, suzu bait. That's what that's called. This thing here. It adds attack plus 12, apparently, but also baits the trap chests out of hiding. So they just run at you immediately instead of hiding and then waiting for you to approach. Which is kind of cool. What was I being through with those eggs? Dolls! Eat your eggs. Pongo's just gonna be fasting for a while, I guess. If nothing's gonna be doing damage to him. Oh, yes. Pongo can also. absorb those statues. You cannot absorb them. Quite the opposite, actually. The Pongo can destroy those statues with his bombs, which is nice. And that means there is some degree of trying to force you to use Pongo as opposed to Klonoa at some points through those things being placed, which you'll see capitalized much later on. Hello. This is the one shot those things now. Yeah, Klonoa is a tax that is kind of misleading because he tends to do multiple hits at once. Or at least with his good weapons he does. And the, the weapons that I think are pretty terrible with Klonoa are the ones that only hit once. Namely the wind ring and the hammer. Because they just hit once and hit slowly, but they don't do any extra damage. But I can tell. So I hate using the things. Also, the... I'm not gonna bother trying to kill that thing. Actually... Ah, uh, no, I still won't be able to, but I... Yeah, I actually really want to. I want to try. I wouldn't work with it. I'm not gonna use this thing. I, I, okay, I wait too long. No, I wasn't gonna use this thing otherwise, but I was just kind of pondering what kind of close action I could go over to try to kill that thing. I'd have to use at least, I think, like three special attacks, if not more. What this M does, I didn't actually explain, is it stops time temporarily for maybe like 10 seconds. So what I would have done is I would have used my special attack. Towards the end of that special attack, because you can use items during special attacks, I will have used this item to sp stop time, to s then start another um, attack. 
And then I, I probably won't be able to get the third one off, which is why I was hesitating. So I was thinking, no, even if I try, I probably won't be able to do it. If I actually had more than one of those fairies, whatever they're called, I could potentially kill it. But killing it would be really nice because it would give them a ton of experience. And it would help get them back to see with Pongo. And these things are way too easy to afford getting hurt by. But so hopefully in the next episode I'll actually get some level, some kind of level up. We don't have anything to do with our eggs anymore. I've been doing a too good a job of avoiding getting hurt. And what was that? We just got f something for special for. No, I don't need. I don't need anything to subtract from my defense. <laughs> I'm not sure it would make much of a difference at this point. It's so low already, but it won't be good for me. I don't think my special will be good, but yeah, whatever. So I'll have to see you guys next time next episode of Let's Play Glenoa Heroes and Setsuno Star Metal. Hopefully we'll finally get the chance to show off paying a little bit more, but for the time being... Oh, that was a cub. Something gonna look cool? What are those called? I don't know what his outfit's called. Something a little... Something a little... Co. A loco. No. Anyways. Dumb attempts at trying to understand Katakana aside. Oh, that's a beautiful powerhouse stats. <laughs> 122, my god. Pick 16. See so you guys next time when we have hopefully a chance to exploit the wonderful duality we have between these two characters. See so you guys.